Hi there, I'm Gary Delaney and I'm talking to you from a wonderfully sunny Crosshaven in Cork um, at the offices of Locate Code. Many of you will have heard of Locate Code, in fact many of you will have used Locate Code. It is an alternative to a traditional postcode. It's not designed for sorting mail, although it can be used for that. It's more designed for finding places. I designed it, I built it several years ago. I have been in the navigation business for many years and I understand exactly what people need to do and what people need to find around Ireland and how they need to find it. Uh, in fact, back in 2010, Garmin, which is the global leader in, in navigation products, uh, took locate codes on board as the solution for Ireland and introduced it as a standard feature on all its sat nav sold here in Ireland and in the UK. And as I said, it's an alternative to a traditional postcode because it's more to do with finding places, any kind of place, rather than just places where there are letter boxes. And I suppose what I want to do for the next couple of minutes is talk to you about those traditional postcodes because we have been talking about introducing a postcode in Ireland for quite a number of years now. In fact, for 11 years. So that's a lot of talk. But unfortunately, for whatever reasons, um, that postcode has never been delivered. Uh, we have had four ministers several governments and lots of promises and missed deadlines and no postcode. However, it does seem perhaps that we will have that promised postcode next year. Uh, that's 2015, which will be 12 years after first being talked about. However, we are beginning to find out as the details emerge for that postcode that perhaps it will not do uh, what we would expect it to do. In other words, uh, ordinary people and businesses in Ireland expect a postcode to help people find places. But it seems that, for instance, like the Freight Transport Association uh, spoke out two weeks ago and they said, uh, we don't think it's going to be suitable for us. In fact, in one report, they said it's going to be unfit for purpose and it's a postcode that has nothing new over postcodes that were designed in the 20, early 20th century. Now, don't forget the Freight Transport Association are the people that represent couriers and delivery people and people that deliver pizza, uh, you know, UPS, TNT, uh, DHL, Fastway, the people that are probably going to be the biggest users of postcodes and in the UK they're the biggest people to use postcodes so they know what they're talking about. They're saying really this postcode that Ireland is going to get after 11 years of talk is really not going to do the job for them. And we also heard that the emergency services, uh, they had all reference to them removed from the marketing material associated with uh, the National Postcode. Why? Well, they say they were never consulted on it. And also, not only were they not consulted, but it now has emerged that of the 25 million euros that has been spent from state funds on delivering this postcode, none of it will be given to the emergency services to ensure that they can implement the National Postcode. So really, public safety and the interests of the population in relation to postcode has not been thought, out, thought about at all. And we also know uh, that on post will continue to use their existing system, their existing postal address system, which they've been using for ten decades in Ireland. And they went to the High Court to, uh, to ensure that they could continue to use that. So they have no reason to switch over to the new postcode system. And in fact, here at Locate Code, we uh, were excluded uh, from the tender process that has delivered that postcode and we went to the EC and we said we asked them to do an investigation, which they did, and the outcome of that investigation was revealed a couple of weeks back and it basically determined that the postcode tender did not comply with uh, international EU regulations and in, 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 in do, so doing so, it actually uh, excluded us, an Enterprise Ireland uh, supported company, from participating in the tender process. So there's a lot wrong uh, with the potential postcode, or at least it seems that way. And, you know, you might say after 11 years of talk, how could that possibly be? Well, I suppose if I mentioned the word PPARs or e-voting to you, then probably you would understand that we have in Ireland a capacity to get things badly wrong when we take on major infrastructural projects. Even though we're supposed to be the leaders in IT in the world, or one of the leaders, we still seem to get things wrong. And in fact, in this case, with this proposed national postcode, probably it was uh, more because we looked at it as an IT project that it is the problem, not as a navigation or a find place pro project. 
For instance, it was designed by programmers and database analysts whose number one concern was how do you invent the code that will lead them very quickly to a line in the database where an address is. So that's a code that's not focused on finding places in the real world. It's about finding places inside in a database on a, on a desktop computer somewhere. So uh, Locate Code, when it was built by, by me and others in Locate Code who are experts in navigation, we were focused on the things that you would expect, i.e. Uh, for a courier to, to be able to find your door. Uh, we were focused on the fact that when you ring 999 or 112, uh, and give a code to your to the ambulance service that they will be able to find you without having to uh, ring up and ask for directions without uh, having to look uh, for you to come to the end of the road to wave at them and all those kind of things that people are kind of used to doing in Ireland. So I suppose what I want to say to you is that we don't need to wait for this national postcode. The evidence is it's not going to do the job but locate code is already doing the job. As I said, it's already on all Garmin sat maps. It's in an iPhone and Android app called Point8. It's ready to use. It's available for you at locatecode.com. You can get your locate code right now. And when you're ordering online, when you're talking to couriers and say, I have my locate code. There is no need for you to be ringing me or uh, telling me to come to a garage 10 miles away to hand over my parcel because you can't find me. There's no need for that anymore. And, and if you give your locate code to a courier and he says that to you, then he's not really interested in delivering the service to you. And equally in relation to emergency services, we should insist that they would use locate codes. The uh, paramedics in the ambulances, they don't make the decisions. They're working as hard as they possibly can to deliver an efficient service. And we know how difficult it is for them. They're working over much wider areas, unfamiliar areas to them. So impor it's important that they have some sort of an address code that works for them. Locate code is that code. And if the people that make decisions on their behalf aren't able to make locate codes uh, accessible to them, then we should talk to our local politicians and make sure that happens. So that my message to you is there is no need to wait for the national postcode, which is already, already 11 years in the waiting. Locate code does the job. It's tried, tested and proven. It is free to use, it is reliable, and yours is available at locatecode.com. Go there now, and it will ensure that we can navigate the highways and byways of Ireland safely and efficiently. Thank you.